welcome dear students as i am dealing with the haploids dihaploid and double haploid now it is part 2 uh, here i will be dealing the classification if you see here the haploids an organism or individual having gametic chromosome number in any diploid or polyploid species are known as haploid wherever you are having an individual which is having gametic chromosome number or even basic chromosome number that can be called haploid individual for example if you see in rice oraja sativa l 2n is equal to 24 this is this, this is diploid and n is equal to 12 if you are having a plant which is which is having n number of chromosomes in its body so it is called haploid in maize if you see gia maize 2n is equal to 20 this is diploid n is equal to 10 this is haploid if you are having an individual individual plant which is having 10 numbers of chromosomes in its, its body you can say it is a haploid plant in maize likewise in uh, wheat triticum estimum if you see 2n is equal to 42 of course you are having three genomes a b d so all all are in pair a a b b d d and in each genome you are having pair of uh, you are having seven pairs so 7 7 7 7 7 6 7 6 just 42 all together 42 chromosomes are there in triticum estimum and that is why you are calling it because of the six genomes you are calling it hexaploid so a plant if you are having in this triticum estimum which is having the 21 chromosomes a b d that is called haploid plant now you see the monoploid when you see uh, when when you call it the monoploid an organism or individual having basic chromosome number that is x what is basic chromosome number the basic chromosome number is the gametic chromosome number of ancestral diploid species of polyploid uh, diploid species of polyploids say for example if triticum estimum which is hexaploid and it's a uh, it's a uh, ancestral uh, uh, diploid is triticum monococcum if you see the which is having a a genome 2n is equal to 14 Whereas uh, triticum estimum is has been 2n is equal to 42. Six genome A A B B D D. Here the monoploid, uh, uh, here the uh, monococcum triticum monococcum is having 2n is equal to 14. That is A A genome seven seven. So if this triticum monococcum uh, monococcum is giving rise a haploid, which is also a gametic chromosome number of a diploid species and this is also can be said a basic chromosome number of a polyp polyp of a polyploid species in diploid form is a monoploid a uh, monococcum as you are seeing in uh, triticum estimum the hexaploid its diploid is triticum monococcum so if it is if it is a plant derived from Uh, having the basic chromosome number x or is having gametic chromosome number only in case of diploid species that is called monoploid so an organism individual having basic chromosome number that is x or having gametic chromosome number of diploid species is called monoploid now you see so in all organism whether diploid or polyploid an individual having gametic chromosome number that is n is called haploid whether it is diploid or whether it is polyploid all are called haploids but haploids of diploid species or ancestral diploid species having basic chromosome number are called monoploid means a plant derived a plant is having basic chromosome number x is said monoploid plant for example as i have already said then dritka monococcum 2n is equal to 14 a a genome which is a diploid then the plant is having x 
is equal to n here x is equal to n the basic chromosome number is equal to gametic chromosome number is equal to 7 is called monoploid hence all monoploids can be called haploids but all haploids cannot be called monoploid it is very clear from this now you see u haploid all haploids can be called u haploid polyhaploids u haploids obtained from polyploid species are called polyhaploids now you see in polyhaploids allo polyhaploids the haploids derived from allo polyploids are 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 allo polyhaploids similarly auto haploids the haploid plants derived from auto polyploids are known as auto haploids now see the diheploid and double haploid there is confusion always people are confusing on it so don't confuse on it it is very simple this is a diheploid diheploid means this is really haploid this is not uh, diploid this is a really haploid in case of tetraploid species is called diheploid once you are getting haploid in a tetraploid species that haploid is termed as diheploid though it is also haploid so diheploid it is haploid of a tetraploid species don't confuse this is 100% haploid plant the diheploid is also a haploid plant and it is similarly sterile as all other haploids monoploids this diheploid is also sterile but you see the double double haploids what happens to double haploid so there should not be any confusion between diheploid and double haploid so double what is double haploid this is man made haploids you can say individuals obtained by doubling the chromosome numbers of haploid or diheploid or monoploid or polyploids individual obtained by doubling poly polyheploids 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 try to clear it individuals obtained by doubling chromosome numbers of haploid or diheploid or monoploid or polyheploid are called double haploid this is very important this double haploid is very important because i will be dealing this only when i will be dealing the use of haploid diheploid and double haploid part 3 i will be dealing specifically this the double haploid because this is most important the double haploids what do you mean by this you must understand here so that you can see the uses of this in next video individuals obtained by doubling chromosome numbers of haploids diploids uh, uh, haploid dihaploid monoploid polyhaploids because you know that whether it is haploid whether it is dihaploid whether it is monoploid whether it is polyhaploid they are all strike they are not going to form the seeds they will die there uh, after some time so you will not get seeds so they are destroyed so to preserve them you have to double its, its chromosome numbers uh, by using colchicine so you can double it the chromosome numbers once chromosome numbers are doubled then there will be proper pairing in meiosis and then after you will be getting proper uh, you know, sexual hybridization and thereby you will be having the seeds in that so you can go ahead with that seeds so this is all about the classification of haploid dihaploid double haploids i'll be coming uh, in next video about the uses of these thanking you very much